morning everyone this is Tile Creek Rock back for another exciting day here on the Ark Survival Evolved Crystal Isles map this is day number 19 of our little adventure here and well we've been doing stuff around the base overnight we got a ichthyornis attack during the night and I was able to shoot it down with a crossbow but other than that I just gathered some stone and stuff but I am still missing about 20 more kite in order to make a pteranodon saddle so we're gonna kind of do a repeat of yesterday we're going to take our little hunting crew out and we're going to see if we can find some more kite today probably get a little bit off this track here just hate to do this close to base though because might get my whole crew involved curious how much cotton that gave me so let's have a quick look Paris where you've got to level up see how much we actually get from a track you didn't get any you apparently didn't get any either Who harvested the track? This guy in the back, maybe? I don't see any chitin. Yep, didn't get any chitin off of that. Thought tracks give you a little bit of cotton. But let's get on around here and see if we can find. I see a red supply drop, but I cannot open red supply drops, I don't think. Oh, I cannot eat that. Let's go up around this way. We've been on the other side a pretty good ways. There's a lastro. I'm not going to kill the Lystro though because you don't get hardly no hide or no meat or nothing from a Lystro. It's just not really worth the trouble. You guys are coming. I'd like to find some low level turtles. There's a Dillo. Let's get back from the Dillo. I might possibly tame it if it's high level. It is not, though. This will follow all. Another one of them ichthyornis birds. I shot one last night with three trank darts and it died instead of going unconscious. And it also managed to steal some of my narcotics from me before I could knock it out. I think that is probably ducks in the water. Yep, ducks. That is a really high level one out there. You can get polymer from those guys. Which I may have to do that at some point. What is going on here? Are you spitting at something? It's... Oh, we've got another Dillo that just snuck into the pack and I didn't even see it. Well, he was trying to join up, wasn't he? If he hadn't spit at us, we would have just let him stay in there. Come on, Dillos. we got to find some turtles or something. Something with cotton. Maybe explore this area a little better today. And I 
I'm not seeing anything over in this direction yet. But it's raining. There is a parasaur. And if I drink my water instead of getting my scope out, I might see what level it is. 20. There's that high level tech one, ain't it? I'm kind of tempted to tame this guy. What level's a pteranodon? 15. Okay, where's my dillos? What are you doing over there? Should be following. I think I'm going to try to tame this tech parasaur. Sure, I've got all my dillos first, though. Four of them, five of them. And you guys just wait right there. Okay, let's go see if we can tame a tech parasaur. Don't really need a tech parasaur, I don't guess. Go to sleep, Parasaur. Must have a lot of torpidity. Fifteen hundred torpidity, eight hundred health, two twenty-five melee. Stamina, weight, your weight's probably good. Yep, let's go get some stuff to tame this guy with. I'm probably going to get rid of this Pteranodon if it's at 15, I seen. Are you a 15? Get that thing. Okay, it's time to head to the base and grab us up some stuff for taming a Parasaur. We didn't get no cotton, so that kind of stinks. You guys in tow. But we've got us a level 162 tech parasaur knocked out. Something that we really don't even need, but we're going to try to tame it anyway. I can get my dillo herd coming. I might try vegetables on this parasaur over here. I do have a few vegetables now. Get them guys back to base. See how many narcotics I got left. Take this partial stack and break it up. And this hide up. Having a real easy time of getting hide right now. Just ain't finding the cotton I need. Okay, what am I doing here? Putting some stuff in the fridge, grabbing out some of those berries. Grab about two stacks of these mehu berries. And then see how much vegetables I've got. We might tame this guy up a little more efficiently if we got berries on him. Or vegetables. I 
I think I've got seven or eight of each of these now. Ten. This might give us a little more efficient tame on that parasaur. Twelve potatoes. I guess potatoes just grow faster than everything else because I planted all these basically at the same time. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's go tame us up a tech parasaur. I was actually looking last night for a female 150 that I had seen, regular parasaur, but I never could find it again. Let my dillos catch up so they don't get lost way behind. Kind of curious how fast one of these guys will tame up on vegetables. Should be a little bit better than mayhu berries. I think this pink parasaur over here is like a 140 or something. I'll have to check it here in a bit. I'm going to leave these guys over here so they don't get aggroed to nothing. Let's see real quick. That is a female 140. You are a male, aren't you? No, you are a female. See how vegetables work on this guy, which we start with. Corn, I guess. He's jumping up there a little bit. 20% already, 23%, 26%. But I think he's chomping through those vegetables really quick. Yeah, he's done eat all the corn. Done eat all my corn. Do I need tranks on this guy? Narcotics. Probably not. Let's go do a little more hunting, guys, while we're waiting on him to get up. Maybe we can get a little bit of cotton today. There's a dropway over there. I'm going to leave this pink parasaur alone. We might tame it too later on. Don't really have a need for a bunch of parasaurs though. Maybe except for some eggs. And the tech one ain't going to give us no eggs because it is a male. See nothing over here. Kind of a surprise. Dillos. So say looks like we're missing a few, but they're back there straggling along, ain't they? See no turtles. See lots of crystal. I guess we could take a load of crystal back to base. Because we probably will make us a greenhouse eventually. There's a green supply drop. Look at the crystal up there around the edges of that. I don't think we can get that though. That's probably how we got the rare mushrooms. I just then thought of that. All those crystals we harvested its probably how we got rare mushrooms. There's a rock just floating in the air. And I'm stuck on it apparently. There ain't no creatures over here is not right. They should be. See something? I see a frog. 
And I see a Pelagornis getting attacked by something over there in the water. What is that in the water? That is a Baryonyx. We don't want to get anywhere near a Baryonyx. There's another Pteranodon. I wonder if you can farm these orange crystals. Where did the pteranodon go? I just want to check its level. 150 pteranodon, wow. It's another female though. And we don't have our trank and stuff with us right now. We actually could go ahead and knock this thing out and go get meat for it. Another pteranodon. That wasn't the plan. Wow, that was some good timing, buddy. I guess I'm not going to tame that either. I'm going to see if I can farm up this orange crystal. You can. It's just regular crystal, though. What are you detecting, Parasaur? I almost had me a 150 pteranodon below there. I'm going to head back, check on our tech parasaur. And we might make up some bolas and come back for that guy, but we still don't even have us a saddle yet for a pteranodon. What was he detecting back there? I don't even know. I think I'm going to get a load of crystal to take back with us. I need to do something with today. Since I ain't finding no cotton, we might as well load up on crystal. Dillos are in all together. There's that Baryonyx out there. I don't think he'll mess with me if I stay out of the water, though. Well, I can't hit this one. Wonder why. That ain't there. That one doesn't exist. That one does not exist. That one doesn't either, apparently. So some of these are not real. There's a couple of rare mushrooms. Okay guys, let's move along. Go check on our tech parasol we've got knocked out. Farm up a little more crystal if we can carry it. We don't look like we can carry much more. Doesn't look like I can carry much more. That's probably going to be about it. Parasaur, can you carry me? Okay, we've got our whole crew, crew in tow. Handed on over there. I would have had him knocked out. Could have got over here and got meat for him and got back probably before it woke up. But I've got three Pteranodons already, even though that one was a 150. I am running pretty heavy here. Got my Dillo Trail a-coming. go try to get that supply drop over there if I've got time. May not have time. Let's 
See how this guy's doing. He should be about done. 90%. He's probably out of vegetables, ain't he? Got nine lemons left. I'll come back and check on him in a little while. He'll probably be done in a few minutes. Take that to the garden. Might have to make me up another power source saddle now. There's a green drop. I think that one's over by my base. Come on, guys. Don't get hung up behind that old piece of wood there. Guarantee that it's what's going to happen. Ain't it? Nope, you make, made it all right. That drop is probably a white one. And that one just disappeared, so we're not getting that one. I'm going to drop off some crystal and probably craft up another parasaur saddle and run out and get that tech parasaur. Ride it around a little bit. I am cold. Why am I cold? Do this while my dillos ain't running. So let's pick that up. Dump all this crystal, stone. See what I need to make another Paris horse saddle. I need fiber, hide, fiber, hide, and wood. Got plenty of all that. Craft us up another one. What do we need to make boas? Craft up a few boas if we can. We might possibly go back and tame a Tyrannodon. I don't know if we want to do that or not. It's so far away. I don't even see boas. There it is. Stone, fiber, and thatch. Craft us up a few of those. Bolas are pretty handy. And I have a level up, looks like. If I ever get done crafting, let's put these rare mushrooms up. And we got that level up we need to apply to something. I think I'm going to put a little more into weight. Now let's give myself a little more melee damage this time. I think that puts us up to level 55. So we're progressing quite fast on this map. That opens up Tape Jara Saddle and a Pump Action Shotgun. Let's go ahead and open up a Pump Action Shotgun. And do we have regular bullets opened up yet already for the shotgun shells? I don't know if I did that or not. Yeah, I've got shotgun shells already opened up. But we're going to have to make us a fabricator if we're going to do all that. We haven't done that yet. So I'm going to put this stuff up and I think I'm going to run out and get that parasaur. See if i got any more stuff to put on the gardens the crop plot. There's a dillo egg or a dodo egg. Dodo egg. Here's my base. One sixty-two 
Tech Parasaur. It'd be much better than the one I've got. No more fertilizer. I'm gonna I'm gonna go do this and on foot, I think. Hopefully nothing dangerous has spawned over here since. Things should be tamed by now or really close to it. Give me a new ride. I don't see it. Should be right in here. Should be seeing green text. I guess it's on up to that next little batch of trees. I was thinking right there. Yeah, he's up. Right there he is. It is a level 240, so that is a really high level parasaur right off the bat. 240 out of a 162. How many bonus levels is that? You got four lemons left. Let me think here. 1300 health, 1800 stamina, 844 weight, and 429 melee. It's a pretty good parasaur. Okay, you were a one, 165 or 162, right? And you, you got 78 levels, bonus levels. Is that correct? 240. Two forty, you got probably seventy-eight bonus levels. I'm thinking that's correct. That's one sixty-two from two hundred is thirty-eight, and then another forty on top of that, so seventy-eight bonus levels. From a one sixty-two, what's half of one sixty-two? Eighty, eighty-one. So it should have got eighty bonus levels if it had been a perfect team. So it's pretty close to a perfect team then. Only lost a couple of levels. Vegetables are better, but they're not perfect. Kibble would be perfect. Let's see, what are we going to do? We're going to take this guy out for a ride, I think. Explore some. I may grab a couple of stacks of meat in case I decide to tame something. And we don't really need berries because he can carry berries himself. Give me two stacks of this meat. And we got bolas and trank darts. Yeah, I'm thinking we're just ready to go out on a little trip with our new tech parasaur here. Our 240 tech parasaur. I should put those lemons up though. Use those to tame something else later. That or make some bug repellent or something out of it. Okay, what do we got going here now? Yep, let's go for a ride. Let's take this guy out on a trip and see if we can find anything worth messing with. Check the time of day. It is 1600 hours. We should probably get a pretty good ways down through here on him in that amount of time. He'll be a little more tanky than my other Parasaur. Might scope some more Pteranodons. We could use a high level male one. That ain't it. That ain't it either. Parasaur has a level up. I'm going to follow this peninsula out and see if there's anything down through here. Got another parasaur. That might be the 150 that I was going to tame originally. Nope, just a 95. 
Tech Perishable, what am I going to give you? You got you got 1300 health. I guess I'm just going to pump your health. You can pump movement speed on these guys. Can Oh, it just barely goes up at all. So that was a wasted, wasted point, actually. Let's keep it going. See if we can spot anything else cool down this way. Yep, you only got like 1% on the movement speed. But I guess if you pump one up good enough, you might be able to outrun a raptor or something. I doubt it, though. Raptors are pretty fast. There's a Dillo. Fifty-five, and it's a heart around him, so right there's another one. Fifty. And fifty. Well, these are terrible ones down here. Two fifties and a fifty-five. Oh, snake. Actually, I could use some prime meat. Come here, snake. Let's see if you can outfight my parasaur. Looks like you're stuck in a tree. What level are you? 20. I'm just going to try to harvest him with my crossbow. See if I can get some prime meat off this guy. Well, I can't. That's not good. I'm going to have to fight him with the Parasaur now. I think the Parasaur can handle him all right. Oh, I've got a super high level Parasaur. Harvest meat? No, you cannot. So I have to do it by myself here. on prime. Where's the prime? Just two pieces. Oh, the prime ain't gonna keep unless I run it right back to basin and cook it. Which I guess I'm gonna have to do. I know that I'd seen a snake on this map, but it's just different spots. So they can spawn just right down there. Tech Parasaur has another level up. I'm tempted to keep leveling his speed so I'll have a faster mount, but it's you get so little for it that I don't know if it's worth it or not. I'm gonna think about it. He's got a ton of stamina. Apparently that never runs out. I'm probably just going to level up his health so he can survive getting a raptor attacked and stuff. But first I'm going to run in here and cook up this... Actually I might just grab another campfire because i got other stuff cooking on that one. I think I've got an extra campfire. Grab that up and put it outside and put the prime meat on that. Grill it outside. Be the best way, wouldn't it? Come here, Parasaur. I need the prime meat. We're going to set us up a grill right here, I think. We may have to set up a bunch of campfires eventually. Cook that. And I'm going to put this into health, I think. I'm just going to build your health up. And I'm going to put this on the vegetable crops if they got room to put one in them. Looks like they're full again. Yep, 
yep I am not getting a whole lot done here taming use tam animals that are not as useful as I really need okay we got this done let's go back out again before it gets dark let's put this in the refrigerator so we actually got a little couple pieces of cooked prime meat now so we could actually go and tame that moss chops that wanted prime meat now if we wanted to do that but I don't think I'm gonna mess with it not interested in doing that that most chops I got now is pretty good so I don't really need another one of those come on tech pair so we're gonna go back down around there and maybe see if there's any more snakes Let's see what else we can spot all the way around that peninsula anyway before it gets dark have a look around we do know these dillos down there and some pteranodons low level ones let's just cut across and go down the other side of this well no let's just circle it let's do the circle shouldn't take us long if we don't stop And I'm probably not going to stop unless I see something that I might be wanting to tame or something. I see the desert, so we must be heading back to the east here. And we got dimorphodons up this way. Could possibly tame a dimorphodon. Do I even want to though? Let's see what level he is. 85. I think I'm going to pass on the Dimorphodon. Don't really need one. Just be a shoulder pet. I don't have a shoulder pet yet though. This is looking a little bit swampy around here, so there might be more snakes. Might be something I don't want to see, like a Capro or a Baryonyx or something. Not really bad. There's a snail. If I had some cakes, I wouldn't mind taming a snail. 45 snail. So I know where to find snails at. I think I see a sarco. That ain't good. Or is that just another snake? 145 snake, and it is going after a... 90 snail and there's a snake coming for me we might just get us a bunch of prime meat and get back to base this will probably be a 150 here he ain't getting bloody very quick oh, he's gonna put my parasaur asleep well, he just might come on die that was a 145 How's my parasaur looking? It gave me some titanoboa venom. It gave me a couple level ups. And my torpedo is a climbing on my parasaur, which is not good. I wonder if I can feed a parasaur stem berries. That actually does work, doesn't it? Give me some more prime meat. More. That is very little. I do know where to find snakes and snails at now. Don't want to get close to that other one. It was a real high level one also. I think we better just get back and get this prime meat cooked up again. We got some arrows and some slightly better pants out of that titanoboa. Hmm. I'm 
I'm gonna head back to base. It's getting kind of late. It'll probably be about dark time I get there anyway. And I'm just going to be cooking up some prime meat. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and end this video off here. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thanks again for watching. This is Tile Creek Rock on my new Tech Parasaur and very bright light. Signing out.